Hi, this is Michael Gordon from GreatPrinterProfiles.com. I create custom printer profiles for photographers, printmakers, and anyone else concerned with top quality printed output. Today I'm going to teach you how to properly print my Epson ABW target. That is the target that I've provided to you so that I can profile your Epson advanced black and white output. If you're uh, ordering a color profile for your standard RGB color printing, please watch the other video. This is not the correct video. This covers only Epson advanced black and white profiling. First of all, I need to make sure that your printer is working properly. Please do a head alignment if necessary and certainly a nozzle check to verify that there's nothing wrong with your printer. The targets do need to be perfect in order for me to create an accurate profile for you. Let's go ahead and get the uh, file open, which is the Step 51 Gray file. When we go to open it, we'll get a warning that it does not have an embedded grayscale profile. This is exactly what we want. We want to leave it as is and open it up. Here's our target. We can either go to File, Print, or you'll notice just select Control P. I prefer keyboard shortcuts over mouse clicks. We want to make sure we select the right printer for profiling. I'm going to profile my Epson 7880 and then I'm going to immediately go into page setup. Once I'm in page setup, I'm going to go ahead and specify the media type. If you're using Epson papers, those are pretty easy to choose from the default listings. If you're using third-party manufacturer papers, such as Museo Silver Rag, please contact Museo for their recommended paper settings. They'll, they'll tell you on their website. Next, we'll go down to color and we'll make sure we're set to advanced black and white photo. To the quality print quality setting, we want to make sure we put it on quality. If you prefer to print on max quality, you can. That's higher resolution printing, takes longer to get done, requires more ink, does not provide any obvious uh, increase in output quality except for when measured with a loop. So I recommend quality. This is how I do all my printing. The mode needs to be set to custom so that we can be on color controls. Make sure you're, that your paper source and size are set correctly. Here I've got it set to sheet 8.5 by 11 with print preview checked. These settings that you're going to use to create the target must also be used every time you use the custom profile. In other words, I recommend that you save this combination of settings and give it a unique name so that when you get the profile from me you're recalling the exact same settings that you use to make the target. This is imperative for a proper profile. Go ahead and create the name and then just simply check save down here at the bottom. That's all there is to it. Now we're back to this window. We've got everything set as described previous. We just set, hit OK from here. Back into our main print window we want to make sure that we are set to color management and then down here in the color handling section we want to make sure that we're set on no color management. Again, we're passing the target through the printer without affecting any color or I should say gray. You'll notice that the profile source is untagged gray. We want to send it out as untagged gray so it's no color management at the printer stage. If you have any questions about this process, please send me an email, give me a telephone call, or please consult the uh, printed instructions. Again, they are, uh, they are the best thing to consult. They are not, or this video is not a replacement for those printed instructions, so please consult those. I thank you for your order, and you have a great day.